So another video log. Uh, today I just want to talk about, I don't know, things on my mind, but had a house for sale for four months, finally got it on, under contract. Now we're trying to find a house. So um, the reason we're selling it, um, basically we want something that's more kind of in the country because we're, we're in a, a nice neighborhood but the houses are like too close together and I don't know. Anyway, so we're looking for something that has a little bit of land. It doesn't have to be, you know, a whole lot, but, um, man, I tell you, we've got about three, three school districts that we're looking in. Um, the one that we're currently in and then another one that's on kind of the other side of town and then one that's actually a couple, well, about 15, 20 minutes north, and and that actually that's skipping a school district that's north of us because school district's not as good. So, and actually, so I'm getting married in September, and you know she's got kids and I got a kid. But anyways, her kids go to school at the the one the one uh, school district that we're looking in. But, but the thing is. You know, that's a half an hour away. The school, well, not necessarily. It's probably 25 minutes away from where we live now, so she has her kids every other week. And so she has to drive them to school and pick them up and such, whatever. And uh, so my son goes to school, you know, he, his school's right down the street. So anyways, we're looking for something and we're going to, put all the kids in the same school and whatnot, but thing is her ex is gonna throw a fit if we if we keep if we enroll the kids in school, you know, around us because he's I don't know. I gotta be real selective how I talk about him. He uh He's not gonna take him to school. I'll, I'll, he'll probably try to enroll him, <laughs> not where they go now, but in the school district that we don't want them in because it's not the schools aren't as great as the others that we're looking into. So, <sighs> so it, it's tricky because there's there really isn't that much for sale, and we've looked at like everything, just about everything possible, you know that's feasible, if you will, for what, you know, <laughs> shit's expensive, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> you could look at a house that, you know, everything could be so perfect and you're looking at twice your freaking budget, but whatever, you know, it's, it is what it is, and every house that I've had, I've fixed up and I don't know. You know, but if we can find something that's a little bit cheaper and needs a little bit of work, you know that that's always fine. I'd rather pay a lower mortgage on something that's you know that needs just a little bit of cosmetic work. But you can do things the way you want them done or <clears throat> how you want them done. So definitely not opposed to that, but. If it doesn't have enough bedrooms or bathrooms or I don't know, we like to have a house that has a little bit of separation, you know, so the kids can do go do their own thing when they want to. You know what I mean? I mean, not like not like we need such a huge house that you don't want to see your kids because you know, who do you want raising your kids? You want to raise them or you want freaking the internet to raise them? You know what I mean? I think I think everybody's kids get enough freaking internet and bull crap and whatnot. So, but it's nice to have a separate area. So if they want to go play, you know they can, and they're, they're not going to bother you. So I know this one house that we're really interested in. It's big enough, you know. It has enough bedrooms and bathrooms, and actually has. I mean, it's, it's, it needs a couple things, but it's at the top of our 
you know, price range or budget. So, and it has a pool, which that's nice. It's on one acre. That's nice. But at the same time, it really doesn't have a, a backyard. For being on one acre, uh, you know, most of the yard is in the front. And then, you know, when you go out to the back, you got the deck and the pool, and that's all fenced off. And then you have to go outside the fence to get in the backyard, which it's probably 30 feet, you know, long by the length of the the length of the yard, but I don't know. I mean, it's got a ton of garage space. I think it's got two car attached and then like a four car detached garage. That's always nice, you know. You can never have enough garage, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, a lot to think about. Been looking at houses left and right. It's so freaking hard because we want this to be like the place, you know, the place that we stay at, you know, until the kids are out of college or whatever, until the kids leave. But it's just so hard, you know. We looked at another one we really liked, and this one's for sale by owner. But, uh, I mean, location's decent. It's got, it's got some land to it, and it's nice and wooded, wooded area, but the thing is, like, front is a hill, and the back is a hill, so, I mean, the house is nice, the house itself has, you know, what we want, uh, could have more garage space, it only has a two-car garage, but... But like, there's, if you ever wanted a pool, there's really there's no room for that. You know, there's not a whole lot of room. So I don't know, and it's kind of for what it is. I mean, it, it, don't get me wrong, it's nice. But for what it is, I just don't think it's worth the price. But you know, I don't know. It, it's so freaking tricky. You know, because when we put the house up for sale, I had uh, done some work to it last year. Basically, put all new floors in it and painted the whole house again. Uh, all kinds of stuff, but just got it, you know, to uh, where, you know, I got it to where you know, people, somebody would want to buy it. They'd be like, wow, this is really nice. This is super nice. But it still took four months to sell, but, you know, before we listed it, you know, we, we checked the house out, and it was just kind of for shits and giggles, you know. We looked at a couple houses, and this one was like, I mean, this house was freaking awesome. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, it was on top of a hill, five acres. I mean, it was all wooded, three-car attached garage. It has a, like an 1,800-square-foot barn if you will, that's sided just like the house. It's got this big cedar siding on it. I mean, but it was only three bedrooms. We like to have four, three full bathrooms, and then it had had an indoor pool, which, you know what, that's, that's freaking sweet. It really is. I mean, not that I'm in the market for an indoor pool, but just freaking sweet, you know what I mean? So, I don't know. But the more we thought about it, well, you know what? Because we looked at it, and you know, we're kind of like, yeah, this is this is okay, this is nice. You know, it's got some nice features. It doesn't have as much living area, like a separate area for the kids that we'd like. But it's got a, a little basement that you could, you know, put a little video game thing down there for the kids or whatever. But in the master, the master bedroom, it has a little, and this is on the second story the master has a uh, like a little balcony that you can step out on you could probably put two chairs out there I mean it's not very big but we stepped out there when we were looking at the house and there's a baby deer came out of the woods and we looked at each other we're like this is our house this is so sweet I don't know it was it was freaking awesome but 
like I said, it's it's actually above you know our price point, and then the taxes are, are extremely high, and that's something you definitely need to consider. You know, that's a, you you definitely need to consider the taxes, the property taxes, because those will never those property taxes are likely to never go down. I mean, probably ninety five percent will never go down, and they're only going to continue to go up and up and up. So, I know my grandparents. Uh, I think it was 1961 they bought a house and uh, you know they paid it off 30 year mortgage whatever their house payment was only $125 a month you know from when they originally bought it or whatever so but af after it was paid off and everything they were paying more per month more than $125 a month for taxes I mean that that's asinine you know what I mean it's like it's a kick in the dick, you know, why you're going to eventually pay your house off and then the taxes are going to be more than what your payment was. It's kind of like, what's the point, you know? What is the damn point? I don't know. It's not all glitz and glamour like freaking HGTV and DIY or whatever where, you know, they buy these you know, they flip the house and get all this money out of it. it. It's freaking tricky, you know? Like, we got our house under contract, and it's it's less than what I, you know, originally wanted, but, you know, that was the first offer in four months, you know, and it's like, you know, well, uh, I mean, it's coming, getting ready to be spring, and, you know, maybe, maybe we would have had more offers, but... Shit's tricky, I don't know. Just like everything, shit's tricky, you know what I mean? So, whatever, I just thought I'd talk about some stuff that's going on in my life right now, so. Um, I don't know. But anyways, I don't know. Comment below, tell me what you think. Like, subscribe. Um... You know, hit me up, fastingvegan at gmail.com or hit me up on, on Instagram. So, uh, talk to you guys later.